In this video, we're going to talk about using the particles method. Whenever trying to create some effects in rooms, like a fire or an explosion or water, it's sometimes difficult because of how many individual things you would need to create and then also manage. The particles method allows you to have the same effects in a much simpler way. So in the example that I will use, which we will be using flame, uh, we will create a fire. And so if I go into the code editor, I have an on click function already set up. And so whenever I click on the campfire, different types of particles will be able to be, uh, will be seen. So let's just go with particles and then see what happens. So there are some different options here, explosion, faucet, flame, plasma, puff, rain, snow, smoke, steam, waterfall. So all of these things that are made up of a lot of individual particles or individual things. Um, so we can actually just select one. Let's go flame since we're doing the fire and add in no additional arguments. Then when we preview it, we can see that the particles effect is immediately applied and we have a flame like effect. Now, if you wanted to adjust different properties, this is where you can add in some additional options. Uh, by calling references through a table. And if you haven't seen that before, that just means that we need curly brackets. And inside of that, we have different attributes that we can indicate. So one is gonna be duration. This would be how long the flame would go. Uh, I'll just set three for three seconds. Whenever I preview it, we will see that the particles happen as they uh, are supposed to. And then after three seconds, it stops. Another thing you can do is change the color, and this uses hexadecimal values. Uh, so let's do a green, and then when we preview, we can see that my flame is now green. And so duration, color, and there are a lot of things that you can see under the advanced dropdown in the documentation. Uh, the one other one that I wanted to show you was um, kind of an offset or where the origin of the particles are relative to the um, the center of the thing. And so if I were to do LY, uh, which is local position relative to Y, and then I wanted to, uh, let's, let's just go with 30. What would happen here is that the origin of the particles would be 30 units above the center of the thing that I'm clicking on. So if I click on the campfire, you can see that the particles are now appearing further up. And there are a, a ton of other things that you can explore in regard to customizations. Um, so let's say that we also wanted to do density, which is really the number of particles. Uh, we could set that equal to two. So there would be twice as many. And you can see that you can also link uh, these individual attributes within the curly brackets as well to add different attributes to your particles. So now we've got a higher density of particles that are 30 units above the campfire. And while that might be impractical, uh, you know that you have a lot of customization opportunities with the particles method.